Welcoming Gary to the Hall of Fame are John Stockton and George Gervin. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Payton. Everybody got this piece of paper, but they're going to bring me up here with an iPad. I hope it don't go out. First of all, I want to um, thank these two guys. Um, George Gervin is basically uh, my hero. Um, I grew up to him um, when I was in Oakland, and I had all his posters on my wall, cards, everything. I was sneak into the Oakland Coliseum and watch this man right here. He's a dear friend of mine right now, and I just want to appreciate and thank you for even being here. I've been getting a lot of slack for this guy here. <laughs> um, everybody's been asking me why he is the toughest person to guard other than Mike, instead of Michael Jordan. First of all, it's my opinion. So that's the way it's going to go. <laughs> Um, just a little short story about him. He's the only guy, when I got in the NBA and I wasn't as good as I thought I was going to be for the first two years, uh, I watched him. And when I watched him, he's a player that all kids watch right now. I might have been more athletic than he was, but he did it the same way every night. Every night. Uh, for a guy, for him to only play 32 minutes, come in and shoot the ball 12 times, make nine or 10 of them shots, shoot eight free throws and make seven of them, and then have 15 assists and four steals. That's the reason why he's the hardest person I ever had to guard, and that's why I respect him very much. Um, first, I want to just thank God. Um, if it wasn't for God, uh, I wouldn't be here at this moment. Um, to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, thank you for this honor. I am so excited to be here and be a member of the class of 2013. I give my love to the fans all across the world who have, have supported me up to this very day. My family played a big part in my success and so many of them are here today. This moment wouldn't be complete if I didn't recognize them. They sacrificed a lot for me to get here. To my moms and pops, Annie and Alfred Payton, thank you and I love you. I <clears throat> am more proud of you then you could ever be proud of me. To my brothers and sisters, Greg, Sharon, Wynette, and Alfred, basically we call Alfred Pookie, so we all got one of them in our family. <laughs> <laughs> you've always looked out for me and protected me, and you've never hesitated to check me when I was out of line. George, you don't know, before I knew you was the ice man, I had a brother named Nice Man. He was pretty good and great. <laughs> By the way, if anyone here wants to know where I get my personality, just stop one of my siblings in the lobby and it will become very clear why you know. <laughs> Yay <Yeah>, area. <laughs> I want to thank my kids, Raquel, Gary Jr., Gary the second. Yeah, I had a George Foreman moment, yeah. <laughs> and my baby boy, Julian. I love you, and I'm a better man by having this blessing of being your father. Thank you for the laughter you bring and, and for standing tall in the Peyton name. You all make me so happy and proud. I love you all.
to my lovely Miss Monique Payton, super mom, my former ex-wife, my best friend, and my greatest supporter. A mountain of gratitude will never be enough to match what you have given me. You've been there when I wasn't the person I should have been and still stayed beside me. You know I will love you always. Over the years, you really saw me without this group of guys. I wanted to, I want to acknowledge them next. They are my best friends who have taken this step and this journey with me. I have Marty, Trevor, Milton, Danny, Troy, Mike, my cousin Glenn, my nephew Zarek. And by the way, my cousin Glenn gave me the name The Glove in 1993. So as you know, if The Glove credit him, it, give him all the money and the trademarks. It's on him. <laughs> uh, my, my buddy Darnell C. Farr, and last but not least, the newest head coach of the Denver Nuggets, my brother, Brian Shaw. <laughs> Speaking of head coaches and friends, my little brother Jason Kidd flew in and surprised me. I appreciate, I appreciate you for being here, and um, I'm proud of you. I know you'll do well, but you know what? When the, dudes are, when the Brooklyn um, Nets come to L.A., you better pay for dinner, and it's on you and the Nets. <laughs> I dedicate this night to the memory of my late, co my late um, college coach, Ralph Miller. Coach, I'm honored to be joining you in the hall. To my coach, Jimmy Anderson, you recruited me to Oregon State and became my head coach after Ralph retired. You and Fifi are wonderful. Thank you. To my high school coach, Fred No, who changed my life, and, the, and my supersonic coaches, George Call and Tim Gergerich, thank you very much. If it wasn't for Tim Gergerich changing me in 1993, taking me out and going back to the days that I played at Oregon State, and making me become this person I am and having right, being here right now, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, coach. Thank you very much. <laughs> to my trainer, I call him Big Daddy. His name is Frank Furtado, the best trainer ever I had. You kept me intact and I had some bad days physically and nobody knew, but because of you, it didn't show. The Seattle and Washington, the Supersonics organization, its fans, and the best owners ever, the Ackerley family. I love you, and the best part of that, you love me back. Thank you. For my Sonics teammates, I share this honor with you, especially the Rain Man, Sean Kemp. Y'all talking about that Lob City over there in, and the Clippers, we was the original Lob City. <laughs> to my other brother who guided me through the Supersonics, Nate McMillan, here with his wife, Michelle, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you, Mickey Ar Eric Ar Ar Arison, Pat Riley, and the Miami Heat organization. You gave me the opportunity of a lifetime, and our championships means the world to me. Thank you, Coach, very much. To my agents, Aaron and Eric Gooden, Goodwin, they're my brothers, they're everything to me. And also Mary Ford and Michelle Chan, thank you for your loyalty and for always having my back. You are all greatly appreciated, even you, E. Hughes, I got you. <laughs> to my friends, Lynn Merritt and the entire fa um, Nike family, especially the big boss, Field Knight. I gotta still keep getting checks, I gotta bring him in, man. I gotta even bring him in there. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. To present the, um, the, the to represent the world's greatest brand. As players, we dream of this moment, but we don't expect to be standing here. But I really, really liked my chances of being here. <laughs> it's amazing. This is really happening for me. To put that in perspective, understand that I began playing on the playgrounds of Oakland, California at the age of seven, and it was a beautiful struggle.
playing for my father and getting tortured by him even when I was playing great, overcoming obstacles in high school, like not, like not making grades and missing out playing my whole sophomore season. At this moment, I understand the reason for those hurdles, and I appreciate the silver lining that followed, like becoming an all-star, an all-American, I mean, a gold, an Olympic gold medalist, and a world champion. And I don't forget, I am the greatest trash talker of all time, Reggie. <laughs> but you know what? I can bag it up. <laughs> Few things, few things meant as much to me as my ability to play this game. I bared my soul on the court. I played hard because I wanted to win every time. And sometimes I didn't come off so pretty. I said things I know I can't repeat. Here, plus, I don't want the guys in the booth to well, say they can't say it, so it's good. Listen, I really didn't mean any harm at least, not bodily. I sh I'm sure there are some coaches, teammates, opponents, referees, and probably management out there who might feel otherwise, though. It was all for my crazy love for the game and my lack of maturity to be able to express my passion any other way. I don't regret the way I went about it, and I am a strong man today as a result. But I can't help but think I could have given more to the game that gave so much to me. My career is complete, complete. Gary Payton is evolving, but GP is in the Hall of Fame. Thank you.